Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Have you got a chance to check uh, Local King Summer new release design yet? Yeah. If you haven't, make sure you check the tutorial number 146. In tutorial number 46, I was uh, kind of doing a preview for the new coming images, which is uh, going to be available. It is available online now, but uh, you got to wait until June 15 because we are going to have a 20% off promotion coming through and also the 10% extra discount for our YouTube viewer. So make sure you mark down LK101530 and use this coupon code so that way you will get the 10 percent extra discount for your online shopping and actually you can use at least 10 percent discount on the special too that means is a least month special plus the combo set so that's the best deal, uh, best deal because we are not traveling to the show this year i think so that's why all the money that we save for the show and the, for the travel expenses we are uh, offer you this great uh, promotion so make sure you check it out and in today's tutorial I have a so 2020 new release I have a three new flowers It's going to be the sunflower iris and the least one so and then that this is the card that I, I did and that with a magic mushroom is very common that you just steam with a black uh, um, impact and then you can color with a watercolor, you can use a magic magic mushroom, and you can use it all kind of way to color it. But I my tutorial I always try to show you something different. See today's tutorial I am going to show you how you can become a professional artist and then we are going to do some watercoloring and then you know what's the best part the best part is no skill required you can enjoy to be a professional watercolor artist and it is only going to take you two minutes two minutes to make a car like that how to do that that's started and I go to show you step by step okay so the material is nothing special just a box of uh, markers you can use any water-based marker it will work just fine and we're going to need a spray bottles and uh, pigment ink i have a silver and i have a gold and uh, what else uh, that's pretty much about that if you want to oh that's a go oh um go uh, let's explain when we reach to that area we really don't need anything fancy and uh, I am actually, of course, because we're kind of doing the watercolors. So I have uh, this watercolor paper. It's a Kensum watercolor car stuff on Michael's uh, with a coupon. And then uh, if you have been watching my tutorial, I accidentally ordered some of these uh, volume, uh, volume um, envelope. So I'm trying to use that. If you want to, you can actually create a sound coordinator envelope and then see how pretty it is. So that's just uh, do this way. Okay. So is it because it's kind of like a seeing through and just make these projects so pretty? If you want to, just uh, uh, prepare some. This is what's it called? It's called the uh, Versa Magic. According from the box, from the box, uh, from the uh, impact in the back, they say this is a pigment impact and also is a permanent, um, permanent power finish. So that means if uh, if we, a little bit water touch it, they will it's like a permanent impact. We will see. So I think so because the last time I used a white pigment impact and then I kind of like a touch it, it kind of smear. And this uh, Versa Magic, I touch it, they still stay there. So I think they are probably permanent impact. And the double side tape, uh, if you have some, um, I'm going to explain to you what do we need the double tape. So that's pretty much about it. So I am actually... Um, 
I'm going to make all three, okay? But it's kind of like a repeat pattern. If you already get it, you don't want to watch it, you can just stop it and then I will tell you where to stop. You just don't have to watch the whole tutorial. But if you want to, you can see, you can um, just continue the tutorial. I will start with the iris and the sunflower. And the, this one, was this one? Azalea? Azalea? Yeah. So if you want to, I'll also show you how, but it's pretty much the same technique, just different color, and then you won't believe how easy it is. Do you have a lot of rubber stamp? Duh, of course. Everybody have a lot of rubber stamp or clear stamp. You know, can you see those two are exactly the Im same image? How can after I stamp, they, to they look totally different, right? That's the fun part of a rubber stamping because the different person, different material, uh, different media, they all turn out totally different. I totally believe it. You know, not everybody can paint and draw, but everybody can stamp. That's the best part of stamping. Okay, so it's very important what kind of stamp you use, okay? Um, I always found out rubber stamp, they take the ink better, but now there is a lot of clear stamp too. So you just give it a try. I personally, I love rubber stamp because I just feel the quality is much better than the clear stamp, but I cannot say clear stamp socks so you use what you have but the design is a different story okay so they is uh, you know rubber stamp is all about the design a uh, rubber stamp without the design is just a piece of rubber it's the design that make that rubber stamp interesting and that make that rubber stamp is worth something otherwise rubber stamp is just a rubber stamp there's a lot of stationary stamp so I'm going to explain to you, so um, you can t see there's a two kinds of stamp on the market. One is called the detail stamp, one is called the shadow stamp. And I've been keeping it explaining the detail stamp is the outline that racing out. The shadow stamp is a flat outline, is a re resist, uh, reverse. So when you use the shadows, then you color with the markers and then you stamp it in the, all the places. Um, all the image because it's reverse so it's go in right so they don't pick up the ink that's how the shadow stand work so you can see these uh, these uh, fan the shadow stand is uh, the outline is white but the detail stand the detail stand the outline is black Okay, so local king have a lot of uh, different kind of stamp, but today's tutorial you got to use uh, something that's between, and I'm going to explain to you why. The detail stamp is also um, called the detail, and then details detail. What do I mean? Like a details detail. Details detail mean is I don't know is there any other way to describe the detail detail. Detail, I'm actually going to stamp that to show you what's the detail stamp and the, what's the detail detail stamp. So this is the detail stamp and I'm going to show you just a, I just use a black image to give you an idea what's the difference. Okay. So this is the detail stamp that you stamp the outline. You can do embossing and then you can color inside. And this is the shadow stamp. Usually I just color with a marker and I stamped it. And that's something, just a rough idea, something like that. Okay, so check Local King's um, online DVD library. There's a lot of tutorial show you how to, how to give you idea. So you can see the first one, the detail stamp, they are just outline. They don't have any shading, right? And then the shadow stamp, they have a white outline and the black, uh, uh, black uh, backing. There is no shading. So I call the detail um, stamp, I call the shadow stamp. What is a detail detail stamp? Um, what I'm trying to um, explain, try to tell is that detail stamp is the detail stamp that with the shading. So what is the shading? Um, in my pre pre previous tutorial, I was just explaining rubber stamp is the, when you make a rubber stamp, they, uh, they, uh, they can only read the black and the white. There is no gray area. So when I create the rubber stand, and I like to create the shading, the gray tone, how to create that one, that is the skill that you have to use the line 
fine line or dotting to create that shading area. So what I mean is the sh uh, detail detail stamp is uh, the detail uh, the the detail stamp, but with a shading area. I'm going to stamp it and show you how. That's a beautiful iris that you can see, right? Can you see what's different between these two? This one is just the detail stamp. They only have an outline. They don't have any shading area. And then can you see these iris? I can see there is a shading area. For example, on the petals, on the leaves, you can see there is a gray tone. So if you take a look close, uh, close look, those gray tone is actually built out with a line, with a fine line. And then the gray tone is actually make this object is more 3D. And then today's tutorial, we are going to use something, the detail detail stamp. That means it's the detail stamp with the shading, shading feature. So that way, when we call it, right, because I already did a hard job, I did create this tutorial. Your job is just to draw all the color you like and then it will create a beautiful artwork. If you don't believe me, let's show you. I am going to use this uh, detail stamp and use the same technique I'm going to show you today to show you what's different. And then today, unfortunately, I'm not able to do any editing to this tutorial. Um, my eyes is still not doing well. The doctor just said you cannot use your eyes to reading from the phone or iPad. So I'm okay to create this tutorial, but I'm not able to do the computer work to adding that. So if it's some um, raw footage, forgive me. Um, and also if you find out this tutorial, you learn something, Give me a thumb up. That really means a lot to me. That means you're watching and uh, you hear me and then you learn something from this tutorial. Okay, so let me show you how and we're going to have fun and then you won't believe it how easy this project is. But when you finish this project, you feel like you are a professional artist. Okay, so that's a start the first project. Okay, I'm going to use this beautiful flower. And then if you check uh, Local King's uh, flower combo set or under the combo set or under the flowers set, you're going to see a lot of uh, beautiful detail flower. You don't see the shadow flower in the big size because uh, shadow flower is a good, uh, sorry, not shadow flower, shadow stamp is a good for uh, like a, like uh, not the big size. If you make a shadow flower too big, um, when you call it in, that it's going to show the stroke. So you don't see like a big shadow stamp, but uh, you can see big um, detail stamp. So for this tutorial, we're gonna use the markers. Like I say, we do have a 60 color set, and then this uh, um, new combo set, all the combos that count stamp and die, and this one comes with two die, yeah, $24.99. But uh, you are going to get 30% off of $24.99. That's an awesome deal. And then if you purchase the whole set, and uh, you will get a free shipping too. So 30% off plus for free shipping if you purchase uh, all the new summer new release uh, steam image. Okay, so the marker, you can use any kind of water-based marker, but remember it got to be the water-based. And then I am going to just uh, do something crazy. Who doesn't like a purple? Everybody like a purple. So I am actually kind of going to make like a bluish color. So I have a, a blue, I have a purple, I have a, um, let me see, that's a gold, a little bit magenta and for my flower. So this is how I coloring. You don't really worry about the detail. So I just color um, a little bit blue. When you color, try to keep your marker on your rubber stand. Don't try to color with line. It doesn't make, make a difference. And then in, um, if you, this is the first time you watch Local King's YouTube channel, welcome. This is a channel that Lisa, that will be me, AKA Sausage Finger, to show you all the great technique I I know I don't hide like uh, I like to share it you won't believe it when I create a tutorial I have to wait until second day to you know upload it but I'm so exciting I actually want to upload right now right away okay 
So this is the channel that you can um, learn all the technique and that I am willing to share everything I know. So I was doing the blue and I add a little bit pink. When the blue and the pink are blending together, they actually create a new color. And then you probably say, hey Lisa, great, you just ruined your marker, right? Absolutely not. Those marker is really like magic. If you pick a little bit darker color, they blending. And then all you have to do is clean with the uh, wet cloth. They will come back to original color. And in my previous tutorial, I actually show you how to refill this marker. So feel free to abuse those markers. They are awesome marker. They will last for a long time. See the way I color, but remember, try to keep your markers together until you color the all the foundation. Once when the foundation is a color and then you can do whatever you like. You don't have to worry, um, carry about, uh, you know, try to keep your straw together. Okay, and then we're going to color the leaves. Remember, keep your markers on the stamp, um, cut like a color piece by piece. Don't color with a line. Because if you cover with a line, you probably miss some area you don't even know. So foundation color, I'm going to color the all um, blue, uh, green. And then I'm going to use a little bit darker green, just to give a little bit touch out. The darker color you're going to use and last and last. And then now I'm going to just blend it with a little bit brown, okay? And then a little bit brown the top here and there and see the white color. I really don't worry about the detail. And then I'm going to just uh, do a little bit darker black. Some part of outline, you can give it a little bit color. Um, just a little bit to, you know, make that outline more clear. But not too much, just a little bit. Okay, so that's uh, um, already finished coloring. Okay. And then I have my um, Kenson paper ready. They have a uh, both side. I do have other tutorial was doing a 10 different kind of uh, pre uh, review for all different kind of paper. So if you want to get a little bit more information, what's different, what kind of paper, what is good for what, make sure you check it out. Okay. So now I am going to need a, a spray bottle. So a spray bottle, any kind of spray bottle will work just fine. And then we are going to spray directly on the rubber stand. I found out like a three or four mist is good. If you want your outline is more showing the shape, two to three will do. If you really want to do like a watercolor, you know, kind of like a watercolor effect, Three or four or five, they will do. So let's see what's look, uh, what 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 what's going to look like if I do like a three or four. So just uh, holding your um stem, and then we just do one, two, three. You can see on the surface. Can you see? I can see better. It's kind of wrongy. You can actually move a little bit. I'm gonna do four. Okay. And then you got to move a little bit faster because you don't want uh, this uh, color dripping anywhere, right? So I'm going to just uh, flip my stamp and I'm going to just stamp in right in the middle. Give a nice uh, firm press and get ready. Have your ooh and ah ready, okay? One, two, three. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that I get usually at a show floor. Okay, don't bother like um, to clean your stamp. If you want to, you can just be careful. Try to lean your pressure on the left side because I'm trying to be lazy. And then lean a little half of pressure on the right side. So that means it's just a one stamp. I mean, one time color, you can end up to have at least. Okay, see how pretty it is? Isn't that look like a professional uh, watercolor effect? And then you can even tell your, if you want to like a more losing the outline, you can spread a little bit more, which I'm going to try for my next two tutorial. And then look how pretty. Compare, oh, where is that one? Compare these to 
Can you see that's exactly the same stamp, but it looks so different, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to leave that one, let it dry, and now I am going to show you just the detail stamp. Remember the detail stamp? What's different? Okay, so remember the detail stamp? This is a detail detail stamp. This is a detail stamp, and this is a shadow stamp. And let's see what's the detail stamp give us to us. Maybe it's very good, I don't know, but let's see. Okay, so same thing, I am going to just use my markers, okay, um, just a light, medium, dark, any color you like. So how about I just use the same color, so that way we can com compare. And then remember, even though it's uh, just on the details then when we colored it, we are going to, what color did I use? Okay, blue. Okay, same thing, try to keep your marker on the stamp, okay? Don't color like a, with a line. And then in my tutorial, you know, I don't hide the, you know, I don't hide. I share everything I know because uh, I want you to be able to do exactly the same thing I'm showing you if you like it. You know how you have this kind of experience, you see somebody lose the weight, and a lot of weight, and then you ask them, how did you lose the weight? Oh, just uh, eat the last and uh, do a little bit exercise. Bullshit. That's not going to lose weight. They must have some trick, but they don't share with me. You know what? I promise you, if one day I lose a lot of weight, I will definitely share my secret with you. And if you lose a lot of weight, could you please share your secret with me too? We all need it. Okay, no, you don't need it. I need it. Okay, so I called it in already, right? And let's see what this detail stand looks like. And then you will understand what I'm trying to say. Detail, detail stamp. Okay, I do one, two, three, let's do four. Okay, four is enough. Okay, so I'm going to give a stamp. Okay, can you, can you tell now, can you get it what I'm trying to say? Because the detail stamp, they don't have that shading area. So, and then when you stamp it, they just, uh, so the line just uh, kind of, you know, um, the outline kind of just uh, like a smear, but that you because you don't have a shading, that's why you cannot create that 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 shading um, tone. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, okay, and then now I am going to finish this one and uh, some um, and for the other two um, flowers, I am going. If you like to continue to watch, um, you're welcome to do that. But uh, it's kind of pretty um, a similar technique. But uh, I am going to actually spray uh, like a mist more. This one I only did like three times because I still want to keep the the, the shape of the flower. But uh, for the next uh, tutorial, I probably want to um, let it run a little bit more to make a more like a wat uh, watercolor. So this one I use this word stem, and also I have the other. Background stamp is called the happiness background. They're also really popular. So that's, you know what, that's just, a, let's see if I can, okay. That's just find the, this is a, the butterfly, uh, sorry, it's the happiness background. And then you can use the silver and this is a platinum, plat, plat, platinum planet. Okay, so it's a pigment. It's not silver, it's kind of like, a platinum color and it's really pretty so let's see what it look like uh, just uh, maybe it's not a good idea I don't know you won't you are gonna find out after you stamp ah it's nice it's kind of green because I didn't clean my stamp last time after I use but I think it's still pretty right okay so what did you learn clean your stamp after you use it that's I think that's still okay. I'm going to just uh, keep that. And then, so my ink pad is kind of green. That's ugly. Okay, and then this is what I do. I, um, before I mount on top, just be careful, make sure it's completely dry before you do that. And then you can just use the side of your exact knife to give a little bit rough finish. Or you can use a pair of a scissors. That will do too.
okay? And then there's something else. So you just have to make sure this is completely dry before you do that. I use the, let me show you. Okay, you can see, actually, you can see that um, glitter finish, right? Like a hummingbird shape. You can use the hummingbird or you can use the butterfly. So I actually just found out my butterfly here. It's from the butterfly effect and I have a two or three. And then I am go and I just cut the piece of double side tape and then I am going to just uh, uh, remove one side with a teaser, tweezer and then I am going to just uh, put some glitter on top just to give a little bit touch. I always joke around is depend you know is it depend how important your friend is if it's really is the friend you really like I think they get a glitter if it is the friend you really don't like glitter just give her black and white car like my sister in law okay so let's do this okay so two butterflies here and then I'm going to use uh, this uh, coffee filter. Okay. So today's tutorial, there's no other thing. If, uh, ugh, you know, one time I was so one lady, she was doing the tutorial and she spent like three minutes trying to pick up the backing of the tape. I said, are you kidding me, really? If I do that, I'll probably get uh, like a twenty. Two. Okay, so I'm just use the tweezer. <gasps> Something drop. Okay, so I'm going to use the tweezer here, and then I have this glitter. You can use those kinds of transparency color, or um, you can do like a light purple color, any color you like, and then just rub some on top. And remember, glitter is not your friend. Do it at your friend's house. So kind of just burnish my finger, right? And then I am going to use some a brush. Kind of just brush off. So that way you kind of add a little bit extra on the car. And then I am going to just uh, um, uh, find a, a good sentiment stamp like a happy birthday or anything um hey have you got a chance to watch my other tutorial i was showing uh, a perfect way a great way to storage all your sentiment uh, stamp if you haven't watching it make sure you watch it it's a great tutorial it's very useful so that way i have a i don't have any problem to find a stamp that i want Okay, and then um, after you put your stem on top, this is what I like to do. I always the testing first, make sure I can get a straight image before I stamping on my final card. Because uh, those rubber stamps, sometimes when you put on the acrylic block, you don't pay attention, and then when you stamp that, they are crooked, and then you get you you get you don't get like a hundred percent perfect, like a. Not hundred percent. Sometimes you know you don't need hundred percent perfect. I mean, is I don't I I have a problem with the line, so it got to be straight. The artwork it doesn't have to be perfect because sometimes the boo boo is actually good things. But uh, like this kind of line, like when I hang my tower, they have to be like a they have to be level. Like when my husband playing the tree, if the tree go a little bit, you know, leaning the other side, that bothers me. Only the line. But for the artwork. Boo boo is okay, but this is how you 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 got you want to just make sure you stamping on the piece of scrap paper first. Make sure that line straight. You don't want to cook an image. Is it cook? Get give it to your sister in law. Okay, so that's uh, what the final project look like. You can see like exactly this thing, stamp different color. They turn out totally different, and then you can touch out a little bit ribbon if you like. So for these two, um, I think I'm not going to make it because it's pretty much the same technique. If you you um, 
I don't think so you 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 want me to do it it's just a thing idea I'm going to just explain to you so this is the the sunflower after I stem it I actually repeat a few more times so and then I just found out because the white is more white area I found it a little bit boring so I kind of just trimming it make it like a three section and I add a little bit little uh, but, uh, ladybug on top and then same thing I have a hummingbird glitter on side um, you can do butterfly, um, dragonfly, anything you like. And then I put a little bit of ribbon on top. And then this one is also the same technique. And uh, you can put a butterfly. This is a butterfly. You can do the glitter or you can make it like a 3D butterfly like that. So just like that. And then remember I um, what's the difference between the detail stamp and the uh, detail detail stamp and the shadow stand so it doesn't make a difference and uh, make sure you check uh, go check your 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 collection see what do you have um do you have uh, any detail detail stand if you do you can give a try so that's today's tutorial i hope you like it and i think i pretty much did all the um preview for the new coming uh, release images and um so the release, the promotion started from June 15. I think uh, probably a lot of you already started working on your shopping list. And then remember the coupon code is uh, LK101530. And then this code is good for June 15 to June 30th. And uh, check, uh, um, check, check this month's special and uh, check the they are ready to view so you can actually um, preview all the stamp that is uh, the new release and then put in your shopping cart but then wait until June 15 because uh, that way you can get a 30% off it's a really good deal and the 30% off is for whole online store and uh, um, but uh, already have a, a like a special set for that but that a set a set, B set, or A, B set, or A, C set. If you take a look, you will know. Those, they are already on special promotion, but you still get a 10% extra plus free shipping for that. So 20% off is for the old online store, and make sure you check it out. And uh, if there is anything you like to see, um, just leave me a comment. I will working on that. And make sure you subscribe to the Local Kings YouTube channel. Give me a thumb up. And that's pretty much about it. So thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. See you next time. Bye.